Every time you start creating a brand new website and you're working on the design, it's kind of hard to get an idea of what's going to look like because it pretty much just looks like this. There's nothing there and we're going to solve that problem in this video. I'm going to show you how to add sample data to your website, sample blog posts, and if you're going to use WooCommerce, sample products. And if you want to test WooCommerce, even a fake payment gateway so that you could test the checkout process. I get asked this all the time. I'm going to cover it all in this video and we're going to be using two different free plugins to accomplish all of this now the first one is named faker press and you can just go to plugins add new and do a search for faker press and gosh I'm gonna say that wrong over and over in this video faker press uh, and just go ahead and go to plugins add new do a search for it install and activate it I already downloaded it so I'm gonna go ahead and activate it right here now when you activate faker press there's going to be a new menu item right here that says faker press we'll go ahead and click on it now what's nice about this plugin is it's going to create this dummy data including images and it's also going to figure out what it added in the case that you might want to remove it and you're probably going to want to remove it so when you first click on faker press this is how you actually get rid of it but we want to go ahead and add the data first so I'm gonna click on posts right here and let's just go through these settings together the first one is how many posts do you want to add so for me I'm gonna add 12 posts and then we want to choose the date range for these posts so for me I will choose the last 30 in the last 15 days how about that but if you want to go back even further you can do it right here just by choosing a date inside the past now if you're going to build a website using custom post types a little technical you can have it create content in those custom post types right here by clicking here and choosing the other types so if i wanted to create pages i could do that right here all right, and let's go ahead and scroll down. You could choose the author. Now, right here is where you have the option of choosing how the content will look, the size of the content, the type of elements used in this content. But here's an important setting. It's called image providers. So by default, it's gonna pull in some images. Now there's these two sources that are automatically filled out placehold.it is going to add images that look like this and I would rather have images that are real than these so what I'm going to go ahead and do is click this X right here to remove it now this image source is going to add real images so we can get a better idea of how it's going to look we have additional options here to add tags and different metadata fields. I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate. Now this is gonna take a sec or two and it's a perfect opportunity to ask you to subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell for access to new videos when they come out. All right, it's done and you can see right here direct links to those different posts. Now you can go here and add comments. Here you can add different metadata terms and you can even generate generate users if you are creating a community website so now let's go ahead and take a look at that front page that was blank just a moment ago I'll quickly do a refresh and you can see now we have various blog posts with featured images and text so if I want to see what this actually looks like on the site I can click right here and you can see what happens on your website when you're using those various elements so that is the first thing that we are going to do next we're going to go ahead and add sample data to WooCommerce now when you download WooCommerce and unzip it who does that there is a sample file in there that you can use to import and I'm going to show you how to do that but we're not going to download the entire WooCommerce and dig that file out if you go to Google and search WooCommerce sample data you're going to see that page that I was just on but underneath it it's going to say sample CSV file and when you click here there's this link right here that you can click on to download this CSV file that we're gonna go ahead and import but right here is an option to read exactly what we're gonna do but you don't need that because I'm gonna show you how right now now I've already gone ahead and downloaded it so all I need to do is go and activate my WooCommerce installation right here okay now that that is done I'm going to go to where it says tools and then right here it says import and this is the default WordPress importer where you can use to migrate data 
Now, when you have WooCommerce installed, you're gonna have this option here that says WooCommerce product CSV, and I'm gonna click on Run Importer. Now, all you need to do is select that file that you just downloaded. I've gone ahead and done that. I'll go ahead and click on Continue, and now it's going to show us a list of the column data, and we can match this to fields. What's nice about this importer is you can easily mass create products that way, but it's already gonna be pre-selected fine for this sample data import file. As you can see here, everything's pretty much linked up. So we'll just scroll down and click on run the importer and this as well is gonna take a moment or two. All right, it's complete and it says 28 products have been imported. I'll click on view products so that you can see the default sample data WooCommerce products have been imported. You'll see this a lot in WordPress themes when you're looking at the demos. I can click on any of these products and you can see right here, it's there including a featured image for the product. And when I click here to view that product, you can see it's looking fantastic and it's been fully filled out. Now for the last thing that I'm gonna show you how to do in this video is to add a fake payment gateway to WooCommerce. And this tech might be kind of outside the scope of this video, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Here it is, fake pay for WooCommerce. You can go ahead and click on activate. And then we're gonna go into WooCommerce, we're gonna go into the settings, and then we're gonna click right here where it says payments, and you're gonna see the new payment gateway here, it's called fake pay. And we just need to toggle this switch to turn it on. Now it's enabled, and you can even click the setup button, but there's really nothing to set up. It's already done for us. So now I can go and view a product. So I'll click on products. We'll go to that one that I was just on. I'll click on add to cart and I'll click on view cart and I'll click on proceed to checkout. And then here is the checkout to fill out and you can see here's the payment gateway, fake pay and you don't have to enter any dummy credit card data in or anything. All you have to do is click on place order and you will be able to check out. Now what's nice about all these Plugins, when you're not using them, you can disable them, you can remove them, you do, don't need to leave them installed on your website. And links to everything I'll just put in the video description down below to save you a little bit, bit of time Googling and searching. So hey, that's all that I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, found any value in it, consider giving it a thumbs up. That actually helps me out and helps the channel out and share this out with your friends. Hey, subscribe, click on that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video.